Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've got our fourth best of three series coming up. It's been so long, I've already forgotten. I'm Zayori. With me is K Pop Tosis. Dude, we're in Beyond the Sun. We know how to count to four. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh this guy, look at this. It's four. Big four. This Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. All right, cool. So uh, we got. <laughs> <laughs> It's 4 a.m. here on the Pacific Coast. We're going on our 10th hour of straight, nonstop Dota 2 action here. Some C Dota action. Yeah, some C Dota action. The Mineski Pro Gaming League. Mineski. Yeah, there you go. This yeah. is the rest of C. Yeah, the, the, yeah. this is the section. It's, it's kind of funny how they have it broken up. So just to reiterate, guys, this has not been a straight through tournament. This is the culmination of uh, multiple geographical tournaments in the SEA region. And they're broken up into different groups. And uh, we've had an array. Of different ones here. We've had, uh, first it was Myanmar, then we had Indonesia, then we had Thailand. Uh, and this grouping here is just titled, quote, Rest Oops. of SEA. Yep. So you've got like Cambodia, Laos, uh, Singapore. Vietnam, Singapore, uh, Brunei, and East Timor. Interesting. East Timor. I'm not I wonder where these guys are from. It doesn't actually say. Yeah, I don't know, but uh, they they seem like a, an interesting group. I'm uh, I'm a big fan. They uh, they gave me some much deserved flack in the lobby for my preemptive GG it's last cool. game. Everyone knew that game was over. Yeah, no, it's cool. I'm glad that they were giggle. The one guy I thought he was going to yell at me, and then he said that was so adorable. <laughs> and, uh, what can I say? I do my best. I'm a uh, naked grievel at heart. So adorable. That was so adorable. What a great way to explain that massive screw. Is, is this our first day? I wasn't able to, like, I'll, I'll watch some of the Zephyr games instead of the, excuse me. Oh, that's cool, man. But I mean, the th Zephyr is this the first ancient apparition we've seen? No, there, there was one earlier. There was a, an AA earlier who Talk did. Talk about flavor of the month right now, though. Yeah, dude, he did the dirty. He got the, uh, he got the eggs. Okay. Yeah, so it was, it was scary, scary business, man. I want to see us. I need to see a Selamid at AA. I think it's viable. Dude, it's good. Dude. Dindy's done it. Dindy did it, like, when the, patch that added the eggs came in really yes remaining. dude i think right. i think like the eggs Five upgrade on remaining. aa is good enough that it warrants like allocating him Putting some farm mid. like i i think even if you do that thing where you give him mid for a little while and then switch it out and kind of make some rotations or, or whatever he's like he, that's a hero that's really growing on me there was a while where i was just like man aa is like he's not dumpster tier but he's not that <laughs> Not that great. Oh my God! Look at those so stats. So Dindy's statistics on Ancient Apparition. He's ten and one with a ninety-one percent win, uh, ninety-one percent win rate, averaging seven kills a game, thirteen assists. Yeah. 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 So he this used to actually be a thing back in the old like pre-Ti2 meta. Mm -hmm. The Dindy would play all, and this actually shouldn't parse much from that. Five so this was probably remaining. kind of the the end. He might have played a couple of games. Uh, let's look at this thing. I think he might have played a couple of games time. of Solomon Ancient Apparition in TI2. I yeah. think that was kind of when it stopped becoming viable. But, like, see, a lot of these games, look at these match IDs. <laughs> what? Dude, these are 11,000 like 11, match IDs. This is the International 2011. It's like a third of the digits Tw that they have on the match The International IDs now. 2011. That's ridiculous. Playing a lot. See, these are all these are all the International 2011 right here. All of these. So these are like six matches. 11,000. Jeez. 11,000. That's a blast from the past right yeah. there. Radiant team pick. Well, suffice it to say, AA is definitely pretty good. Yep. What, where I think AA doesn't shine is when he's paired with just Veno and they're both, both the hard supports. We did get to see the yep. other day, though, Veno mid, cloud AA, nine. with uh, yeah, a little bit of Cloud9. That was awesome. I really like that. Dude, that was like one of those like drafts <laughs> that was so up and down. When I saw it, I was just like, are you kidding me? They're going to do Veno AA. That thing, oh, it's terrible. No CC. It's so bad. It's no CC. Ten you have no really stuns. Mean. Like You, you do damage. You, that's it. You do damage. And then they had that curveball, and they picked the... Was it a fifth pick of bad and a fourth pick of bad? Fifth pick of bad. Yeah, fifth pick of bad, and then it was Sing Sing Veno mid. And th that shit was incredible. I well, loved it. It's the first time like, Sing Sing's ever won a game as Venomancer. <laughs> yeah, the, on his account ever. On not, his account ever. Not even competitive. Not Just even competitive. Like ever. He's 1 in 12 on his account. <laughs> so. That's one of my favorite stats ever. That's I so good. Oh, we get it. We get it. We get the Dazzle Luna. Finally. Okay, so I'm going to look at the stats again. Man, I've been doing all the stats in this pregame. Yeah. But Dazzle Luna, if you think about it, mm -hmm. okay, you got Luna, what is what is her big thing? Of course, Eclipse, but also the Glaives, the AOE right click. Bouncy Glaives. Boun bouncing. Them, them bouncing Glaives. Boom, boom. So what do you think would work well with that? Well, AOE armor reduction sounds like something that would work really well with that. So Chen you, works pretty well with that. Chen works pretty well with that. If you get someone like a Dazzle, he's got the Steve Weave, he's got the AOE Sorry. armor reduction. You pair that with a Luna. And on the same team, when they're playing together, they have a total win record 
of 22 and 9 right now. Is that on 6.8 or ever? This is ever. If we want to look at this patch, let's look 6.80. 14 and 5. Okay. They're 14 and 5 this patch together. That's still pretty good. 74% win rate? Yeah, I'd call that pretty good. That's that's pretty good. So oh, wait, wait, wait. No, they're 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 14 and 5. Win together. Yes. I miss I I'm I'm an idiot. 14 and 5. Holy crap. 74% win rate. <laughs> that's good. That's yeah. better than good. That's 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 like that's close to kale tier. Yeah. And Dazzle is a 53% win rate this patch and Luna is at a 55% win rate this patch. So it's significantly higher than either of them. It's not that just one of the heroes are good. Yeah. It's that it's they're that good the pairing together. together. And it makes sense. Like you said, the, the huge minus armor with the bouncing glaives that do physical damage. So much damage. It gets crazy in team And fun. Luna's squishy. That's one of, that's her biggest drawback. Mm -hmm. Is that she dies really early before she farms up her satanic. Yeah. Or whatever else she farms up. Or a BKB. Especially before the BKB. Yeah. That's and true. Dazzle... Can keep well, from, yeah, he, he, he helps That's on what that he does. Front. He keeps people from dying. Yeah, so that, that shallow grave. Works out a lot. They're a very good combo. A, I seriously think that should really be like a top pick combo that is not getting picked as yeah. much. I, I will say, I'm biased as it may be, I think Dazzle has been a little underloved as of late. I've I've been tunnel visioning not on the Dota that late, I've been though. casting. So, yeah, I, I don't know what's happening in, like the, the other, like in other tournaments that I haven't been watching, but especially in this tournament. This is the first. There was, there's been one Dazzle ban. Right, and it was one of the games earlier. It made a lot of sense in that particular game, but first dazzle pick. Oh, dazzle! Let's see what else we have here. Oh, the shadow fiend. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Look Ooh. at you, Nevermore over there. You know, I like it. I'm gonna be honest. I saw uh, sometimes I go on on the Reddit and sort by new just to see what people are talking about. You know, you get to see those. Are you those, a knight? Those threads. A knight. A knight of new. A knight of new. Oh. Yeah, the the Reddit algorithm's kind of messed up. Five so the first remaining. first couple of votes are really important. Oh yeah, yeah. So I've if you heard feel that. like really like Being altering the course of the subreddit, just go to new and you just go to new and up. But just yeah. All right. So that's the, it used to be like a lot of bunch, of, basically a bunch of neck beards would be like back when our new for across all of Reddit was the thing. Mm -hmm. Like when it's just the the, the the Reddit subreddit, there'd mm -hmm. be people that would just stay on the new portion of that. And they called themselves the Knights of New. That's crazy. That's that's I way too try hard for Reddit. That was super try hard for Reddit. I'm on a totally different angle. I just like to see what you know what people are posting. Right. I saw somebody saying, "Can casters please stop using the old names for heroes? Because Never it's uh, yeah. it's too confusing." Well, I mean, I like it's cool to call him Nevermore. Listen, like, I, I had mixed feelings. As long as it's not like your main, as long as it's not the name, yeah. Main yeah. I, I like to switch it up. My my first thought was like, "Oh, you know what? That's a legitimate criticism." Newcomers, yeah. I'm always talking about how we need to appeal to people that are new to Dota. They don't know Lanaya. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like Nevermore, they're like, "What?" You know, like I, I threw in a little Nekrolik earlier with the visage. You know, Ghost of Nekrolik. Nekrolik. Yeah, Nekrolik. Ne is that how? Visage, the bound form of Nekrolik. It's Nekrolik, not Nekrolik. Uh, it's necro, necro. It's necro. Dash. Oh yeah, necro I apostrophe L. I never know how to read the apostrophe in the middle of a word. It's that's usually not just English. Space. It's just like a Necrolic. we're one word, but that's like, like the, a the break in the pronunciation. Like yeah. So anyway, Great. but then I flip side and I was just like, no, I'm proud that I know the names, man. I'm proud that I know Furion is Rex. Is Furion is he's not Rexar. He's, he's Nature's Prophet. Oh God. And Rexar isn't even. I'm proud I don't know these names. I'm proud I don't know these names, damn it. And Rexar isn't even bound or uh, Beastmaster. What was Beastmaster's name before? It was uh, was Rexar, it Rexar? Rexar was his name. I thought Rexar he's was not, that model. He's he not Rexar now. He's got a weird name now. I don't think he's even Rexar because Rexar was the name of a a. a of like a Warcraft hero, kind of like how Dying. the original Lycan was the Archimon He's model. He's called Karok now, uh, but he used to be Rexar. He was, old, he was okay because Rexar. Rexar was the guy from um, Warcraft lore, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. He was so a big it's stuff like that. I like it. I, I think it's cool. It, it it makes me feel like a hipster, and um, there you go. That's that's really what what the opposite of what grinds my gears. <laughs> All right. Well, we have Tinker Boosh. Yeah. Uh -oh. We have old Boosh. That's Dazzle. Yeah, I know. Uh, sorry, that was just a I had to behest of the chat. Oh, you had to say I, dazzle. I do a good dazzle. Yeah. Dazzle. 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 <laughs> but I, I like this. This is a Tinky. okay. I like I like the ancient apparition in a tinker because it gives them some global presence. Mm -hmm. AA. If you're not drafting around the ancient apparition, it's shit. I also already <laughs> think this is kind of shit because <laughs> the chilling touch is not. They're not doing a whole lot with chilling touch here. Yeah, it's they're true. just not. I mean, if I was it that chilling touch is like totally imbo on as it Luna. Luna? Because you're already giving bonus damage to your allies, yeah. so you're getting even more. Uh, yeah. It's really good with the Beastmaster because you give everybody attack speed with it, so you don't lose as much. There you go. Speaking of Rexar, ooh, Storm, the final pick for Team Feet. I like it. I like I'm it. okay with this Tinker as long as if he goes March, they stack Ancients and kill Ancients. That is like my biggest Tinker pet peeve. If you're going to go March, 
You better be sacking those ancients. It's like getting a helmet dominator and then not dominating a creep. Well, it's like, like yeah. you're just losing opportunities. Even if you're not staking entries with a creep, like bring you an alpha wolf along. Like, yeah. <laughs> sp- yeah. If you only have a satter, like bring it around for the HP region, like do something with it. Like, yeah, it's, it's just, just burning you know, a hole. Like the whoever was whatever team Junior was on, he played Tinker in two games, and they just like he went March primary and he never stacked the ancients, and it's just like. You know, part of the reason you go march, like, yeah, it's good. Yeah, you can zone people out. But being able to clear, like, a triple or four stack of ancients at, like, the 10-minute mark is part of the reason you go march primary. It's just a waste if you don't. That's that's all it comes down to. So that's just, you know, a little, little pet peeve there. But, you know, if he wants to go laser rocket, that's cool. It's a legit build. If you don't want to do ancients, just get the lasers. Yeah. Dude, if you want to just destroy, like, he's not going to destroy a TA because of what she's got with refraction like obviously you're only going to want to go march if you're line, lined up against a TA mm-hmm. but against other like squishier mitts like if you're up against a shadow fiend yeah dude max those nukes dude the, the nukes are lane. the nukes are a little bit underrated i feel like most people think of march I, as like the only build but in, in my limited experience with with tinker i thought it was a trash can build like that's what, what? i when i play what march I play, or no the laser? maxing your two nukes like maxing uh, missile and laser I thought that was trash can build, but Ben Ben seems to think it's okay. I mean, it does a lot like, of damage. It does, no, it does a ridiculous amount of damage. And I was like, yeah, Ben, that's why I go because you know I'm you garbage. Can, I don't know how to use March you correctly. You can poop on somebody with this. It's a lot of damage. Like even heat seeking missile, it has a really high ratio of damage per mana cost. Oh yeah, it does. Especially at level one, if you can hit two, if you manage to hit two people with it, it's two hundred. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Uh, did you see the video where a hero got divided? We stand in ability draft with heat seeking missiles. No. You could just tab Q and kill everyone. <laughs> oh, that's good. It was, it was real good. Wow. Wow. Reptar? No, it's not Reptar. Reptar, king of the ozone. <laughs> Reptar, the master of the beast. So it looks like somebody's having a connection issue here. I'm not sure what the... Uh... Hmm. I hope this is... Sa- I really hope this is a safe lane, Shadow Fiend. I think mid he might get kind of wrecked by uh, Lanaya or Storm. Yeah. So I'm I'm expecting this to be a I don't know it is dire so the the Tinker can go offline and dire and do some ancients like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll see. I'm just curious how they're gonna land it. It looks like it will be Storm going mid. He was pulled some tango, so that's usually a good indicator. Mm-hmm. And he started he started with the mantle. Yeah. So try lane down bottom. It will be Luna Dazzle and old Ruby two here. So great, yeah, and it's gonna be the offlane Lanaya. That's interesting. Started with boots and a clarity, so she'll be fine. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, the the visage AA Shadow Fiend Trilane, if that's what they end up going top, doesn't have a whole lot of lane kill potential. Uh, the radiant offlane is actually really, really safe too. It's mm-hmm. insanely safe because if you look up at the radiant offlane, like where the creeps meet is like at that little second obelisk. You know, mm-hmm. it doesn't really. It's really safe. So TA can have like keep up refraction. AA does n- neither of those heroes have a on target like CC, like an on demand CC. Grave right. chill is okay. It's not great. Uh, and cold feet is not gonna proc on a Lanaya. Yeah, it shouldn't at least. Especially not with a stun. Grave chill, like you get grave chilled in cold feet, you're still gonna be able to run away in time. So I don't see this Lanaya even really dying on this top lane unless she overextends. Do you think there's anything else that rearm shouldn't refresh? Uh no. I'm, I'm looking at the list here, and it's just, just it's just interesting to think about all the things that Tinker can't it's, rearm. That's kind of the standard. Like that's the same thing that re- Refresher Orb can't refresh any of these things either. Yeah, so all all of these would just be so ridiculous. Yeah, like dude. Arcane Boots is stupid. BKB is obviously stupid. Hand of Mine is obviously stupid. Necronomicon, yeah, that's dumb. Lincoln's, that's the Lincoln's. I almost don't have as much of a problem with because he has to sit there just rearming his Lincoln's. Like it's it's stupid, but I don't know if that's really that useful. You know, like that's that's one of those like if you really want to sit there and well, do that, well, I don't have well, a big problem. The thing problem is, with he's it. not like Tinker's always rearming. Yeah, I guess fights. that's true. So he's so it's kind of like he's getting it anyway. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's it's not true. like he has to rearm on purpose just for the Lincoln's. He's yeah, always going to get the benefit that, from that, it. That's so a, a little point. too. I guess my mental image was a little. I was just picturing a Tinker sitting there with his Lincoln's, just like man, Team Feed. I just really think. They're going to go aggressive, and I think that's a great decision. Mm-hmm. And I don't see them losing this lane. I mean, Visage yeah. is the king of tri lanes, though. Oh, he, yeah. he unseated Undying. He unseated Undying. Um, but I don't. I just. I don't know. Chilling Touch on a Shadow Fiend after he gets a couple of souls would be pretty good. But. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. It's, it's, I, would, I would label it lackluster, but okay. Let's introduce these rosters. On the right hand side, we've got Team Feed. 
I don't know what their real name is. They didn't want to tag up his feed, but then they said they had to, so they did. Uh, apparently, this TA is not a stand-in, but he just really hates his team, so he labeled himself as a stand-in. His name is... <laughs> We're not joking about that He either. literally <laughs> said that in chat. His name is, Give Me Rubik is How You Magic. So... <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> I really like these guys. In mid, in mid, we've got Storm Spirit. Beat you! All right, and up top, we've got a tri-lane. Going to be Loser playing on Rubik. <laughs> the, uh, the Rubik formerly known as Cunt. Oh, oh is that, is that, <laughs> that was He was originally, his original tag was Cunt, and the admins made them change. It made him change. The, the discourse was even funnier, too. The admin was, he was like, do I have to change my name? And the admin just said, dot, 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 it's Cunt. And he was just <laughs> like, so is that a, is is that that a, a yes? yes or <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right, we've got Luna. We've got uh, the serious tryhard naming here. He's Dranix, Dranix. And uh, we've got Finery. Finery is the one that was firing shots at my GG, so he's the one That's that called fine. me adorable, and he picked Dazzle. He's got a man. one fan. Dude, Seriously. Fine is okay, Cupid profile, man. Woo. Y'all need to. Okay, Cupid. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, and for a Naseon, I guess I, I want to say it with that Do nice it. pronunciation. Naseon, Naseon. Uh, In the uh, here bottom, we have the clockwork being played by Curry and A, or Curry Na, whatever. Uh, in the mid lane, we'll have the Tinker played by Nuke. Or Mook. Mook. <laughs> with an M. Mook. Uh, Ballad, please, with some type of emoji face or something. I don't know what that is. Is going to be playing the Visage. Accompanying him in the top lane is going to be X Shadower playing the Ancient Apparition. As well as Yami playing the Shadow Fiend. Mm hmm. Yami. <laughs> Sounds like Yanni. Or Yams. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and we'll have our pause. Can I reconnect? All right. You know, speaking of Yanni. I was watching a Robin Williams stand up the other day, and he does this bit where he just like fires shots at Yanni. He's like doing this whole thing about <laughs> going to heaven or something. He's like, even everybody gets to go, including Yanni. Including I'm like what? Yanni. What's this little Yanni hate? He's just like spiritual music. Isn't Yanni's music pretty good? Isn't it like kind of like know Yanni. cerebral? I don't listen to any Yanni. His whole th he was like, I think he was Greek, but his whole thing was really like sounds Greek. Into like, he was like really uh, I don't know the right like hipster about music. Like, he would like lock himself in a room for twelve hours and force himself to bang on the piano until he made music like shit like that. I don't know. Some people called his music the music from the heavens. Oh God! It sounds I like that's a probably why people think he's me. an asshole. <laughs> 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 like e literally ascending into the clouds. It's like yes, Yanni. <laughs> that's the worst gift you can get somebody. <laughs> I got you this Yanni CD. <laughs> Merry I'm about oh to do that gosh. for next Christmas if I'm still working at BTS. So like, LD, I got you this sweet gift. It's a Yanni CD. <laughs> it's Dude, a Yanni Let's go to the Oh, we got. <laughs> Jeffrey's going to be gone on. Oh, no. Yami. He is in trouble. Oh, beautiful grave. Onto the Rubik. That was clutch timing from saving him from the Saving him from the chilling touch because that was doing some work. That was clutch. That timing was really smart. Why is this Luna still here? Luna. Oh, no. You had boots, too. You didn't scoot out. No, Rubik. Oh no, Dazzle, no, he's gonna stand his ground, he wants Yanni. Oh, this is a disaster. K-pop, Tosis, what's happening to my <laughs> eyes? <laughs> Why? Why did that Luna stick around? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Chilling Touch does work, man. That whole, that was just a disaster. Like, the only thing positive about it that was it was a clutch grave. Like, the, the grave was the clutch. The grave was and clutch, and they still didn't get the kill off on the Shadow Fiend. After that, they just needed to run. I, it was just a, I think that was a... Failed in the conception. They honestly needed to wait till they got level three to go for that gank. Luna needed really needed the two points in Lucent Beam. The Rubik needed an extra point lift, and the TA barely gonna escape with her life in the bottom lane. Yeah, whoop. I wasn't even looking. I was I was thinking about how that Bas uh, Basilius might have been the make it or break it for Shadow Fiend dying. Mm, it's true. And I was thinking about how that cool armor. it is that very little things can make such a big difference in a game like Dota. All right. And now, since they got the triple kill, the Shadow Fiend's up to 12 souls. Well. And this, they've, they've basically won this lane at this point because Chilling Touch. Basically, this is, it's over up top. Shadow uh, Fiend won, man. Yeah, it's, man. Yeah. I mean, I want some hope for this Luna, but, like, they can't even. <laughs> They're fucking lost. We, yeah, like, what do you <laughs> do now? It's one thing if, like, all right, Luna gets picked off or, okay, they lost Rubik, but that was just yeah. a straight three for nil. Now what? So I mean, when the Shadow Fiend gets Chilling Touch put put on him, he's going to be hitting for a casual 140. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. So yeah, it's it's going to be bad. No, it's more than that. 60, 110, 100, yeah, it's 145. God, Chilling Touch is so good. 143. You know, 
Y you think Chilling Touch is a contender for one of the most underrated spells in the game? Not anymore. Not anymore? Because people are picking it AA? It used to be underrated. A few weeks ago. A few months ago. It, I used think to be, it used to easily be one of the more underrated skills in the game. I think it's still a little bit underrated. I mean, people skill it, but I feel like... I think not, it's not just in people using it, just in general conception of Dota. I like, think it's like the yeah. not glamorous part of his kit. That peop like, people think he's getting picked because they see the it's sick you know, uh, Ice Blast uh, mm -hmm. snipes. But it's not... I mean, that's part of why the hero is so good. But Chilling Touch is what makes him amazing in lane in the early game. Mm. So. Sick try lane hero. So, all right, let's look at his mid lane a little. Tinker, 33-6 and six versus the 27-3 and three Storm. Pretty uh, even. Has he been fluxing? Uh, I don't know. I haven't been looking. Let's see. I mean, he's been see. using the March. He is going March, too. So, that would be some ancient stacking. And as I say that, look at this guy. He's stacking the ancient. Look! Look at you, Curry. Aww. I like it. I approve of friend. Team Nassion. See, that's what, what friends do for each other. What a pal. It's the power of friendship. It's the power of friendship. It is. That's the power oh, of love. Oh, ho, ho, hook shot in onto the TA. Stuck inside the cogs. That refraction It's going to get melted by the battery assault. Oh. Sorry, TA. Almost finished off the clock, but it's killing time. just not quite. Remind me to play the power of love after this game is over. <laughs> Michael J. Fox style. Up top. Uh-oh, Yanni. He's in some trouble. Yami. <laughs> he's in some trouble. <laughs> Wow, they get the kill. Storm rotates up good. top. That's exactly they, they really need that. Oh, if the Rubik's gonna fall to the tower. Uh, I was oh, the shower. He, he's got that peach you hit, no matter. Dude, that he tried so to scoot out, but he had nowhere to go. That was like such a good effort, and then it just backfired. Oh my god. He just had to sit there and like know he was dead. Yeah. It's like that guy in True Detective that was carrying around the shotgun with one hand. It's like, dude, stop pretending like you're gonna shoot somebody like that. It's gonna break your arm. <laughs> Just gonna backfire all over you. Oh, Visage, he's in some trouble. But well, Clockwork saves him. Nice cogs, power cogs. AA alt uh, will connect with gonna... TA, but oh, okay. oh, see that's what's smart. When you have someone like Clockwork who can engage immediately after the uh, the ice blast hits, that's kind of what you need. This is oh, yeah. I haven't really thought about ice blast wrecking refraction. I mean, yeah, it technically wrecks refraction, but you know it still eats a lot of the damage. It eats a lot of the damage, but it ticks it down pretty quick. Yeah. It's still it's still better. Th I mean, having yeah, it takes it down instead of like it's yeah. much better for having ice blast damage instances burning it down than your battery Game assault your instances face. burning it down. Oh, and this group, this uh, Tinker die, but I was looking down bottom here as uh, Dazzle gets engaged on. He, he will does. get the grave off, but too much damage with the battery dead. assault. Yeah, dude, battery. If the Clockwork's level eight, dude. He's he's a meat stick right and now. And he's going for this. He's going for this player. Battery Assault Max build. I like it. Yeah, dude. I, I like that build. That's, that's my favorite Clockwork build, man. It's so if, good. If you're going up against a solo, there's no reason not to. Yeah, and uh, Tinky got picked off as well. Was that just... I, I didn't catch that one. Was that Storm? No, the Dazzle got engaged upon and we were watching that. I guess the Storm got the kill. Uh, no, yeah, Storm killed something. Tinky. Tinker. Tinky Winky. Tinky. Boosh. Call, right. call him Boosh. And they're going to try to... They're going to go for another gank top, it looks like. Hester and on the Storm Spirit. What was Tinker's Dota 1 like? Blank the blank. Oh. Silly the Tinker? I don't know. I, I think it's Boosh in Dota 2. I don't know if it's. Boosh? Boosh. B O U S H. That, that was his name, Boosh. I don't know if it was in Dota 1. In Dota 2, it's Boosh. Jesus. Yeah. I can look it up if you want. Yeah, do it. Curious, Storm Spirit, he's going to go for the TP with this stuff. Hester and on. A little bit, but he's not going to go. I thought they were going to go on TA down here up top. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. They're just hiding in the trees. He does have his BOTs up, though, right around the 8-minute mark. Very timely bots. It's pretty solid. Yeah, he's Boosh in Dota 1. Boosh. B-O-U-S-H. Boosh. Boosh the Tinker. <laughs> That's a good name. I never would have guessed that. I like, I like Boosh. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Some of them are, are pretty interesting. I've always wanted, like, yeah, it's, it's just cool. And I, see, this, is, this clockwork is doing it right, man. He's got max points and battery assault. He's got a bottle. And he's just going to start roaming. He's going to try to. They realize that they're doing well, but if their Shadow Fiend dies again, they'll be doing much less well. <laughs> yeah. They really need to finish this Midas on the Shadow Fiend. I feel like he's going Midas. He might be going just for treads. Yeah. Because he finished the Aquila. So I bet he will just finish treads. And so it's really important that they try to protect him here. So I like what this Clockwork's doing. Uh oh. Ancient Apparition gets initiated on, but Clockwork's inbound. He'll hit. Oh! Wow, they get annihilated! Finery! Where's the grave? He's got it! He should have used it a lot earlier. Uh oh, in come the familiars. Man, ultra kill for the Ancient Apparition. Dude. What a hero.
<laughs> what a That's hero. a point booster. That, that is a point booster. That was just... That, that was just perfect. That was a great initiation. Like, they hopped in. They were like, all right, tell Kinesis we got this. Clockwork was there. Beautiful AA ult. Shadow Fiend with the damage. That was just... That just oh, shows man. the strength of a level 8 Clockwork at 10 minutes into the game. Mm -hmm. You got a full level in Battery Assault. You're doing so much AOE damage. You can trap them in. A perfect initiation. He caught, like, three in those cogs. Yeah, and they just lined him up for this a a ancient apparition. How much damage down. does battery assault do at level four? Like theoretically, uh, what's its output? It's in the like it's like eight hundred or something. It's, it's a lot. It's close-ish to a thousand, but not quite. Uh, it is at max level if you're only attacking one. This is, it's hard math. Interval is point seven. The, in the duration is ten point five. Then the damage it's is seven. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred at max. Oh wow! Level. I thought it was like nine fifty. That's that's an insane amount of damage. A lot. Any oh, and he <laughs> misses. What's that one? Well, he gets the tower at least. Tower nice cogs. Uh, yeah. All right. Just, all right. Uh, he got the tower. So hey, you miss every hook much. you don't throw. That's very true. All right, Wayne Gretzky. Jeez, I like that quote. <laughs> that is something that some people don't. They don't. They don't. Do you know what? Like, I see Moranas that are way too tentative to throw arrows. Yeah. Pudges that are way too tentative to throw hooks. Same with clockworks. Just. Yeah, just use it, man. Use it, man. If you see a spot, do it. Don't just think too throw hard. It. Trust your instincts. Yeah, people are mean, though, man. I don't, I don't. I see why people are hesitant in pub games. Anytime I miss something, Dude. like I played Shadow Fiend the other day, and I missed one of my raises. They were like, "Oh my god, noob, Shadow Fiend, just leave." I was you like, just gotta "Come get on, used man." To that. <laughs> like I missed one raise. Like I'm not that good at Shadow you Fiend. Get off got, my back, man. You just gotta get used to that shit, man. You yeah. got thick skin to play Dota, man. I, I'm Come just on. saying. I see why Maranas are like, you know, you play 30 games Marana, you miss 90 percent of your I, arrows. I, I never I, flame Maranas that miss arrows. I if see throwing them at good times. Like, yeah, I mean. I just don't flame, generally. I think you have 7-0. I try not Andrew. to. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Look at this guy. And he went for the point booster. This Thank guy's God. A Okay, we got an ice uh -oh. coming on bot. Uh-oh. Oh, this hits the in. Luna. She is dead. Oh, she'll eclipse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Luna gets scraped and also oh. hit the Rubik as well. Why did, why did Rubik hookshot? Well, he so hook shot and went back in. I guess he thought he was going to shatter anyway, so he figured I might, might as, as well, well use my hook shot. I might as well just... Do something for the camera. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. That's Dude. all I can reason because he. That, that was just a <sighs> suicidal hook shot. I've hated so much on the level one ice blast, thinking that it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but this this AA is doing work with it. Mm -hmm. It just shows that in good hands, how amazing of a support Ancient Apparition is. Yeah. Really. Radiance really. It, it's it's insane. Attack. Like I think AA Scepter upgrade is definitely one of the best. Who who do you say has the the Viper? The best. You Viper. think so? You think Viper. it's better than Tiny? Uh, I think Tiny's is the best, just Tiny's because like is really good. It's straight. Is it its core? That's true. It is straight core. Like riddle me a Tiny that. But in terms get of like, in terms of like without Raw that impact. item, how shit the hero is. Yeah, Viper's pretty shit without Ags. <laughs> that's true. Like he would never get played in a competitive game if it wasn't for Ags. Yeah, that's true. Um, there's a really good video on Puppy talking about why Viper's bad. Uh, that's like a pretty good way because he's like, you win your lane, then what? Yep. Whoa! Oh. Missed hook shot at point blank range. Come yeah, on. That's a little upsetting, but finery. Oh no. A laser a bit too soon. That doesn't matter. Hit him with the laser, the phaser, the taser. Hit him with everything. <laughs> oh, this tinker, tinky winky over here. So yeah, without Aghanims, you can still build tiny. As a, I, I, don't, know, I, I don't think so actually. Like, all right, it, I'll, I'll give you. It's a toss up see, though. They're both really, really good. You don't see Ganker tiny anymore. You yeah. don't see solo mid blink arcane yeah. tiny anymore. You and know. it's also because like it's so good on t like it increases his movement speed. It gives him cleave. Dude, it's that, it's that it building makes damage. Everything too, do it's like everything is just it makes him like from like an okay hero to like a really really good hero. He's one of the harder carries in the game. Yeah, and without eggs, that's just not possible. But yeah, I don't know. I th I think they're probably the top two though. Is there anyone else that's that's, that's more core? You think like um, another like a contender well, see, for the top? I think like Ax is not core on AA. It's just really damn good on him. Yeah, it's uh because it's always hard on a support to right. Yeah, you can't call it like you can't call Ax core on any a position hero. four or five. Yeah, but any real support hero. Yeah. It's it's just so good. It does so like once he gets it, and then has level three ultimate. Oh. Another Just engagement on the TA. Oh, and Dyer's Just lining dude. them up. Look at this. Knocking setup. them down. Look at this setup. You know, I don't often think about the synergy between Clockwork and AA, but 
It's all about long range initiation. I man. see that synergy. As long man. as you have good long range initiation, it works. Well, yeah, but uh, clockwork starts it off. He puts them in the cogs, and then if, if you can't land your AA all with some cogs down, you're it's probably playing the wrong hero. It's the same reason X Sword Invoker was so good in 7 9. Yeah. Long range setup, you get a Marana, a Bane, clockwork, set them up, knock them down, man. It's like shooting fish in a barrel a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. Because those those Shoot those here, fish in a barrel. it is. It's like you got a lot of abilities that lock people down into a very small area, and if you I miss those skill been. shots, what? Alt would have answered that question for us. Oh, what do you know? God, that happens so often. I ask a Should question, just and Merlini just says, "Press Alt, doubt, man. Press Alt. Press Alt. Yeah, Dyer's I still I can't get in the habit of it. I wish there was a way to just to default and make that show up on the tooltips. You know, I just I just want the dense information. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, so what do we have here? We have the Shadow Fiend went for the really ungreedy build. Look at this. Look at this lack of distinct lack of greed. He's going Straight first big BKB. item BKB. I like it. I approve. I mean, he's two and one. He's not nearly as farmed oh, as like dude, their you know, the lead is ridiculous. It's like nine thousand gold, seventy five hundred experience, and they're gonna get a free Roche right here. And AA is fourteen hundred gold away from his axe. He's Roshan got his over club in the, the, the stash on the courier. That's going to be scary. That's GG at that point. As soon as he gets his axe, there's yeah, not really anything like to do about it. Because Tinker, honestly, like some people might look at these two lineups and say, okay, well, Nisayon has Shadow Fiend, scales really damn well. Um, but, you know, that's the only real core they've got. You know, Tinker's good, but, you know. And then Team Feed has Luna, which arguably, arguably the core of Luna, Storm Spirit, and TA out carry. Shadow Fiend. They have more raw carry power on Radiant, I'd right. say. Right, but Tinker Storm is an well. extremely underrated late game hero in the so right hands. I think so is Storm, though. Storm scales really well true, with items. True, but Tinker... But so does Tinker. Dude, I saw that Team Liquid game when Quakefro was playing Tinker, and they went to like 56, 60 minutes with Navi, mm -hmm. and it was just Quakefro just being a beast on Tinker. Now, I don't... I, I doubt... I don't want to... I don't want to flame this guy Mute too much, but I don't think he's a, any Koikva. But he's an underrated leg in here. Oh, oh that AA ult finishes off the storm. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Ruby Tuesday is going to shatter here. See and ya. There goes double kill. And it's a massacre. And Chilling Touch on the Shadow Fiend is so strong. It really is. TA ports into the cogs. <laughs> They're diving to Tier 3. Tier 2 is still standing. Tanker, he's, he's got a little bit of flux there. Yeah, it's, it, this is the right amount of flux for pushing the tower here. I yeah, guess. it's it's not too bad. He's at least crisscrossing. <laughs> How about uh, Ags on Meepo and Invoker? Those are two good ones. Suggested by Ags on chat. Ags on Meepo is really really good. I mean, it's it's core. Yeah, it's uh, core. The Meepo fact that there's no longer stat sharing makes it a lot less core. Yeah, that's a really good point. Uh, actually, it really nerfed it, it nerfed Meepo to where he's not even picked up, even by no tail. <laughs> even with the level three alt, it's still like we saw him today. It's yeah. It's, it's well, we were still doing the morning show when we interviewed Noto. I asked him about Meepo, and he was just like, I, I really want to pick him. Like, I can't even convey to you how much I want to make everybody happy by picking Meepo, but I just I can't legitimize it. He's just not good enough. Now he's not got, good. That they got rid of the stat share, and he's like, it's just, he's he's literally worse than most other carries. I was like, all right. Yeah, there's nothing Heard Meepo. it from the man himself. Exactly. There's nothing Meepo does that another hero can't do a lot better besides, like, I think he's, like, kind of the ultimate snowball hero because he can get level 25 in, like, 22 minutes. Yeah. But that's, that's, it's core. It's core. But it's still not as good as it used to be. Yeah. Visage, Visage Eggs is very good because if you ha have the money, you always get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a uh, um, core one. And Invoker... It's really good, but it it's not anymore. core yet. There's just better items on Invoker. It's definitely a good AGS upgrade relative to the other upgrades, but in terms of like the impact it makes, it doesn't even compare to Tiny. Um, Clockworks isn't core, but it's fun as hell. You just <laughs> play Spider-Man. It's good, though. Spoderman. Yeah, it's good. Spoderman. Just get to throw it. The one that I also think is really, really big that we never see is Huskar, man. Huskar's AGS is good. Dude, you got to go Charles Barkley build. You go Ethblade, Ethblade AGS. <laughs> What? Why is that Charles Barkley? Dude, because you can dunk. Dude, if you Ethblade and then ag someone, it's like a one-shot kill for most things. What does it have to do with Charles Barkley? Because he's a basketball player that dunked hardcore on people. Oh, that's uh, it? He just he was dunking? He was just dunking, man. Oh, you know, I was thinking of that guy that did the crazy song. Oh, uh, not Gnarls Barkley. <laughs> Goodness. Not the basketball player. Goodness. That's like just such an arbitrary reference, though. Like, was he really Charles known Barkley. for his dunks? How about dude, Charles Barkley is insane. Like, is How about it? Tim Duncan? How about Michael Jordan? Like, Dude, Michael Jordan was a much more of a finesse player. Like he could dunk like a mug, but yo, like not like Charles. Come on, Barkley. man, he was doing that. That was, that, like, Charles, that was like Charles Barkley's entire game. Can you just palm dunking on your face? 
I used to could. I don't know if I can. I, I used to could. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't, like, you know, it's like, I, I can picture Michael Jordan, like, jumping, like, the, like, legs flexed with the arm just, like, damn. Guy's a it takes a specific skill set that I do not have. Yeah, I, I played football and, ba- and baseball in high school and was decent. But I played I was, soccer. I was a soccer player. I was really bad at basketball. I was a soccer and Nancy. Yeah, basketball really was bad. not my. Uh, not I'm not my, exactly my fleet on my feet. I'm kind of awkward with my feet. My hands are good though. I have good hand work. I guess you could say. Yeah, I'm just I'm not good at the whole like throw the ball into the hoop thing, and that's poor. <laughs> that's poor for basketball. <laughs> that's pretty important for basketball. But for other AGS upgrades, I hope this tinker goes AGS. I want to see it. Tinker it's crazy. Eggs? Does it's it crazy do anything? That, it doubles his rockets. Uh, oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. You're right. And it incre- What is it? It increases the range on laser. It increases the range on laser by yeah, 100. Like, it doubles the range on laser and doubles your rockets. I've seen somebody get it on Tinker. I don't know. Was it Merlini on stream? Was it a tournament? Uh, I forget what it was, but I've seen somebody do it's it. Just, it's just one of those things that, like, it's good, but usually it's better to just, you know, get a dag and get a sheep so you yeah, can double I think sheep, it's almost dagging. exactly like Invoker Syndrome. It's not that the upgrade is bad. It's just on that particular hero, there are other oh, items that do better. so much more. So yeah. much It's more. crazy, though, that that Ags was really the only buff to Tinker in the latest patch. Yeah. And yet he's still getting played more, even though like nothing but the Ags got buffed and no one picks it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. What a look at the, the range on that Vortex! <laughs> Good cancel. I like that about Requiem of Souls, that you can kind of bait it out. Like, you can fake it. Yeah. What You're like, one? oh, you better not you better not come this way. Oh, and a 19-minute yeah. ult stick. And it's it's, oh it's kind of funny how like you think about that cast time as total like, damn, Requiem of Souls is that really long cast time. It's almost like it's a bad thing, but it can be a positive there because it, it gives be. you that like that fake out. But um, I, I really think there's something to be said for like changes in patch notes, like whether they're positive or negative and how they're received by the community. It kind of makes you look at the hero. Yeah, it increases just yeah the, the visibility and like th- I think there's usually a big overreaction. You know, like Crystal Maiden, she loses a little bit of base and she falls off completely. I think that was the fastest Aghanim Scepter ever bought on it. Are we making history here? I think we are. I mean, this is pretty fast. This Ag or this this AA is like the fast. The minimum time on that data right now is 20 minutes and 0 .09 seconds. The question is, will these matches be on that Dota though? That's a good point. Oh God, like he's 10 and 0, man. 10 0 and 4. Who needs a carry when you have Ancient Apparition? Wow, Shadow R, you are breaking records, my man. Um, wow. Yeah, these, this probably won't be on that data, but because it's kind of under the radar. But yeah. technically, it's right on the cusp of like I, I, don't, I guess it's. We'll just, just say this is the fastest Aghanims that we've seen we in competitive up. Dota. Definitely. Even if this doesn't get parsed onto that data because it's kind of under the radar, it's still a really damn fast Ags. Yeah. Because yeah. if you think about it, even like didn't like when people used to play at mid, his Ags didn't do anything, mm. so people didn't buy it. So it's kind of a recent trend even getting eggs in the first place. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Tinker uh, working towards the sheep, I believe. How do you feel about sheep versus Dagon for Tinker after Blink? I like sheep first. I think sheep first is way better. That seems to be the better. consensus. Um, I said the same. It, it, it depends on the lineup. Yeah. Two, oh, which is kind oh, of the... Apparition. They want to end this godlike streak, but Pichu, he's in some trouble. He gets a grave. <sighs> He's also so tanky with it, eggs, and he's this sh- is this gonna shatter. Yep. yep. Oh, Sorry, dead. Storm. Bye. Get turned around on. And Tinker picks off the T. I didn't even see it. And they press forward. Uh, yeah, this might be time to call and GG. I'm gonna say it here. They said GG. There you go. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to. <laughs> I thought you weren't gonna out anymore, man. I broke my rule. <laughs> I decided, Man, I decided that to call That lasted for all of that. no time that you could have possibly <laughs> not done it. <laughs> that has to <laughs> right. Literally the next moment you could have done spoken all chat, you did. <sighs> That's a fair point. Sorry. I like it. You I could like not have broken your rule. I like faster. saying GG. I don't like it when spectators like try and talk like that and like say stuff, but I, I like saying GG. I, I like to know that, you know, I like letting them know, like, well played, man. It's cool. Odds, odds that AA is the first, first, first band next game? I, I would... Take that bet if I can take the bet that he'll be banned. I think he'll be banned. That was a weird way to say. <laughs> that's not it. how that works. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the one that suggested it, so you got to take the hard Damn one. Damn it! All right, no, I don't want that bet unless yeah, I have okay. ridiculous odds. All right. If someone gives you a hundred to one odds on anything, you take it. You take it. All right, guys, that was game one. We've got game two of Team Feed versus NSN coming up after a little short break here. Don't go anywhere. More Dota coming up on Beyond the Summit.